Welcome to First Coast Outdoors, bringing you the very best in Northeast Florida fishing adventures with your host and narrator, Larry Finch. Let's join Larry as he reveals his proven fishing techniques and insider secrets used by professional anglers that'll help you catch more fish and have more fun than ever before. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss this week's First Coast Fishing Report as Larry takes you surf fishing on Florida's beautiful Atlantic coast for the hard-fighting Florida Pompano. We'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back to First Coast Outdoors. When it comes to fishing the vast coastal waters of Northeast Florida, no one can compare to the Redfish Tours Angler of the Year, Larry Finch. And for good reason. With over 35 years of local fishing experience, Larry has earned a solid reputation as one of the best tournament fishermen in the region and is perhaps the most versatile inshore angler in the state of Florida. That's why Larry Finch has been featured in several outdoor magazines, including the Florida Sportsman, and is currently a featured keynote speaker on the Florida Sportsman Seminar Circuit. Let's join Larry in his quest to catch the elusive Florida Pompano. I'm sure you freshwater trout fishermen know what I'm talking about when I say matching the hatch. A match in the hatch in a trout stream is you're trying to come up with an imitation fly to catch a rainbow trout. Well, I, I use the same principle here fishing for pompano. If you've noticed on my rigs that I tie up, I have a different colored bead. Some of them are brown, purple, white, uh, and whatever color I'm catching the fish on, nine times out of ten, that'll be the color of the donuts. So this is what I mean matching the hatch. I use these small beads that you can get at a craft shop and sometimes I'll use two different colors sometimes just one sometimes just one big white one to match one of the white donuts but that to me it gets their attention but this this seems to work best for me and the proof is in the puff now we're going to talk about getting the bait okay which is sand flies they're not easy if it was easy then everybody would be able to do it but you can make it easy on yourself if you just learn what to look for. Because just don't go down the beach digging your rake in the sand. Walk the beach until you see a ripple, something different in the sand where there's a roughed up spot. Because they have to stick their snout up to breathe and that's what you look for. So just wait till you see that. Then you take the work out of catching sand fleas. So hopefully this morning I'm gonna show you what to look for. That way when we put the rake down maybe we'll come back sometime I come back empty sometime I come back with a quart five gallon bucket full whatever just you know depends on how big the bed is and they run in in big beds and if you walk into one I had a five gallon bucket full in 10 minutes yesterday because I stepped right down in a bed I waited for the right backwash and that's what we're gonna wait for when we see these sand fleas we're gonna wait till the wave comes up over the top of them then we're gonna step in it and let the wave carry them back into the net instead of us digging them. After catching plenty of bait in the surf, it was time for Larry to do what he does best. They got me all tangled up. They do, they do tangle up, but that's pretty good when you catch a pompano and a whitey at the same time. Sometimes it's too pompano, sometimes it's too whitey. This kind of